That's it. Now move on to entertainment, your homie, big baller brand, LeVar Ball. Did you see the the video of LeVar calling? He didn't call him damaged goods, but they're the way that it, it was posted on our website. Did you watch the video? Yeah. What did you think about it? Um, it, 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 it seemed that, you know, they have a relationship that not just father and son relationship, it's like business partners relationship. And you've seen, I always felt that LeVar Ball talked his son into superstar status. And we've seen him play grip ball in college. But the thing is about college and the pros is that a player cannot be as athletic in college ball and be a star there, but they can't be that in the NBA. You can't be that in the NBA. And I believe that they wanted him to go to the Lakers so bad. But I don't think the Lakers was good for him. And the, and the reason why the first season that he had, Luke Walton start cut, uh, cutting his minutes back. When in a rookie season with a dude like him, a point guard, you got to go out there and let a point guard find his way. Mm-hmm. Like he need to go out there and play around 35 minutes, maybe even 40 in the game to find his way, let him make mistakes. But Luke Walden used Lonzo like they was in super, you know, championship form. Like, mm-hmm. hey, we can't put this young guy out here because we trying to win something. No, you ain't trying to win nothing. And you take this guy this high in the draft, you got to let him go out there making mistakes and get better because a point guard is the leader of your team. And that's what y'all drafted him for, to be the leader of the team. You drafted him to be the superstar, the franchise player. You got to let him go out there and make mistakes. And then they made it worse. Then they brought by bringing LeBron in. So then when you bring LeBron in, now LeBron is the guy on the team. And LeBron going to have the ball in his hand most of the time. So you're going to see regression from Lonzo. So it hurted him. But his daddy didn't talk them up like he was – the second coming of Jesus. Yeah, like he Magic Johnson. That's how his daddy talked him up. And now, so his daddy didn't let him down. So he's looking at it and saying, no, Zo, you made Baller Brand fail. Why? Because you didn't do what you're supposed to do in them first two seasons. Mm, yeah. And, but, and my thing is also, like, yeah, like I think people who were talking about his shooting form, like there was another thing. And they were like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I didn't know he couldn't shoot before. Or he had a bad shooting form that yeah, could but, affect him in the league. In, it, but it worked for him in college. Yeah. Like, and that's the problem. Like, it worked for him. And my thing is, like, people start saying, hey, his shot is bad. And I'm thinking, no, it worked for him in college. He just don't have – he don't have the time. He don't have the repetitions, man, mm-hmm. out there on the floor because Luke Warden was taking him out. They wouldn't let him play. But you had to go out there and let that dude get the minutes on his on his belt. He had to catch up to the speed of the NBA. The NBA is a different game than the college game. And so Luke Walton just never gave him that. But his daddy didn't talk them up so much. And brought so much heat. He brought so much heat on that kid. Mm-hmm. And um, so with the situation with Luke, all the heat that his daddy put on him, he wasn't going to succeed in that. So now maybe he'll go down there to the Pelicans and do better because he doesn't have all those expectations on. Him. But his dad had expectation is Zion. Yeah, I and think he, I do it pay him the ball. So his daddy pretty much put him in a very bad position, and now he kind of like blaming him for it when he the one who kind of like led that dude to make Baller Brand into a mega corporation. That's what he was hoping that. That kid could do, but he wasn't going to be able to do that. But in that video, I didn't get that he was blaming. I didn't get that from LeVar that he was blaming. Because it seems like in that video that, like, 
Lonzo didn't want to be associated with Big Baller Brand, and he was like, "Yo, it's done, it's done, it, 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 it's over." It is. And he was like, "Yo, what if? Because you didn't produce the way you supposed to in the first two seasons. What if people came out and said, "Yo, Lonzo is damn it good," and I was like, "Hell, people has been saying that after the first season that he was no, damn it good." See, but the thing is, the reason why, you know. And I, saying that he's saying that, yo, you saying Baller Brand is over. Well, it was on you to make it hot, and you didn't. So what if people now say you damn is good? That's what Lavar is saying. He is blaming L- Lonzo for the failure of Baller Brand. He's saying you didn't keep up what you supposed to do. You supposed to be the superstar that I said you were, cause that's what he was counting on. That's why the first pair of shoes was, was Lonzo's. He was selling Lonzo brand to people. So if Lonzo was a major star, let's say he came in and he lit up the league the way Patrick Mahone lit up the NFL, then Baller brand would still be going great. They would be selling shirts. They would be selling bottled water. They'd be selling all of that. But he flammed out. So Baller brand flammed out with it. True. See, now when we talk about that TV show that they have, are people watching that show to see Lonzo? No, they watching that show to see LaVar. So LaVar is out there trying to carry the baller brand now by himself because his son flammed out. Hell, he even flammed out with his baby mama. That's cool. He ain't had to mention that. But it's true. He had to mention that. It's one. true. We don't know their circumstances. So now he's saying... <laughs> Like, no, dude, you going to call Baller Brand damaged goods. What do people call you damaged goods? Because he telling you, I'm blaming you for Baller Brand not being where it's supposed to be at because you didn't perform on the court. All right, people, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you think about this LeVar Ball, Lunzo Ball, Ball family drama.